Okay, in our study of evil, we're going to finish up today on the judgment of God. <clears throat> our next area would be knowledge. And we only got two things about that. So we're going to finish up the judgment of God and the knowledge. All the study of evil. And this would be our number 28 uh, part of this series of evil. Uh, I said it every single time. You got to get all 28. This is not a study where I, I like that one, I don't like that one. You got to get it all. And in this study of 54 pages, we're not even looking at all the time the evil shows up in the Bible. I've only selected a, a few of them. So Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. And we're looking into evil because <clears throat> we can be mistaken. Because the Bible says, this is what started this whole lesson. Job chapter 2, verse 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we not receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? Isaiah 45, 7. I form light. I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Lamentations 3.38. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceeds not evil and good. And we can't take evil to sin. Though evil can mean sin. Because we have a holy and righteous God that never sins and never will sin. Is incapable of sinning. So how can God do evil? If evil is sin. Not always is evil sin. And we've been seeing that now. Number 16. Of 18 things that we're looking at. The judgment of God. Where we've looked at the judgment of God. And it's not sin. It's the consequence. Of sin. Jeremiah 11.11. 11, Therefore thus saith the Lord. Behold, I will, will bring evil. God saying, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. Though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Now that's a harsh verse. God says, I'm going to bring the evil. Not sin. The people of Judah have sinned. And it's going to be so harsh that even if they cry unto me, they're not going to escape and I'm not going to listen, God said. America's down that road right now. The world is going down that road with the Antichrist coming. America's in a fallen state and they're not repenting. The judgment or chastisement of God by God that there is no escape. And when they repent, God will not listen. And this is the worst spiritual condition for any man, saved or lost, or any nation. And whether it be Old Testament or New Testament, whether before the law, during the law, grace, tribulation period, when you have stepped into the area of God's evil for your sin and there is no remedy and there is no escape. And for a lost man before the law, during the law, the, trip, the, 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 the church age and the tribulation period, there is one aspect of that evil without escape Without any pleas, and that evil is called hell. But you can, while living on this earth, you can get yourself in such a condition that God says, I don't want to hear you. And you're not coming out of it. Think about people who are in hospitals who are in convalescent cares, who are in 
alcohol, who are in drug addiction, who are going so far in their sins. God's like, I kept warning you. You know, there is no excuse for a person to go out DUI, intoxicated, get behind the wheel, when they print on the, on the boxes, and I think I can't, I don't know, I mean, I've seen them on the boxes, I don't look at the kids, or box, you know, drive, drink responsibility, drive or something like that. I know for sure that on a package of cigarettes, on a carton of cigarettes, the surgeons generally, I don't know about today, but used to put the cigarette smoking tobacco product is hazardous to your health. It could cause emphysema. God, I ruined my lungs with tobacco product. You wouldn't listen. God, heal me. No. Judah got to that point. Solomon Gomorrah got to that point. I, I, what was it that, that Abraham prayed he got down with the eight people? And then the Lord worked, walked away. In actuality, there were four people that got out of Sodom. One turned around and turned to Saul. Her heart wasn't with the Lord. It was in Sodom. The two daughters threw. Look at their conduct. Actuality of Sodom, there was only one man in that whole entire city that the Bible said was just. That was Lot. And neither, not one time did that just man pray to God and repent for him, for his family, and for the nation like Daniel does in the book of Daniel. Daniel 9.12. So evil, you just going too far, the judgment falls, and there's no escaping. Now there may be a way out, Paul writes to the Corinthian church, the way out may be death. And God may prolong your death. God doesn't mess around when it comes to sin. And when he warns you. Daniel 9.12 and he that confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil, not just evil, a great evil, for under the whole heaven has not been done as, as has been done upon Jerusalem. A great evil of judgment for our sins, Daniel saying, and it came from God by God because of the sin of the people of Judah. Where do you think America's going? You think God's going to continue? God bless America when they won't repent? You think God's going to bless America that two weeks ago Daytona police told a street preacher, me, that if you continue to preach on the sidewalk, we're going to arrest you and told to my lawyer? And you think God's going to continue to bless this country? You are out of your mind. You don't teach creation in the schools. You don't allow the Ten Commandments in the courtroom. You will not allow the, the King James Bible. You will not teach the kids about capital G-O-D, Almighty God. But you will teach them about small G-O-D-S's. And small G-O-D-D-E-S-S-S-E-S-S-S. -S -S -E -S 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 -S. You will teach them about yoga. You'll teach them to pray towards Mecca. You'll have them with their prayer match. But you will not bring them to the Bible. You can forget about God. Bless in America. There's not going to be a revival when we got the President of the United States. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. We got the President of the United States proud and prideful. 
and nobody's getting on their knees and nobody's repenting as a country, maybe individuals. And you're getting the Christians backing a country that's against God. You're getting the Christians backing the leadership that's against God. And when you bring God into it, they fire back at you. Now, as the present street ministry in Daytona Beach, the farmer's market, we've been there as of July. We've been there for six years. I can't tell you how many Christians have come up to us and will tell us we're not doing what the Bible says to do. We are turning people away. That's not what Jesus would do. They let their light shine. They're good. And absence of reading and studying the word of God to realize that street preaching was done by Moses, was done by Noah. It was done by Elijah. It was done by Jesus, Peter, James, and John, and Paul. <coughs> and they without a Bible know more than someone who has a doctor who is a doctor of uh, uh, theology I am a, a doctor of theology and not only did I, I study to get my doctor of theology but I study daily the word of God I'm not like most pastors you know okay I got my, my degree and then put the Bible away and use other people's uh, outlines the other day a, a Facebook post that I'm sorry to we're talking about preachers who use other preachers messages and copycat that's sick that's just absolutely lazy that you've got to use somebody else's or another one another one I, I, I don't like I don't do. I pulled out the sermon I did many years ago. I dusted it off. You mean you couldn't work on a sermon that week? You were just so busy occupying with prayer, serving God and helping the brethren to do what God wanted that you could not do a new outline. You had to rehash. There's a great evil of judgment for our sins. It's a consequence. Diseases. Health trouble. That outside of disease. Accident. Birth defects. STD. Loss of money. Loss of income. Loss of family lost family members, broken churches, broken houses, broken children. It's all a great evil judgment because of our sin. No, I don't think America will ever get right. I don't think England would ever get right. I don't think China will ever get right. Not when we're living in the days as we're coming to the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves and and seeking out a teacher with itchy ears and, and we're just going to get apostated and apostate and apostate this. And it's going to get worse. Relax. Get saved. Get in the book. Get doing what God told you to do. Get in God and buckle up, get ready for a drive and let Jesus take the wheel. <clears throat> First Peter 3.12 I am one year preachers. I don't go with the flow of preachers. I don't hang out with the multitude. I'm going to preach the truth and I am going to be hated for the truth and I have had churches and pastors and Christians hate and unfriend me and talk evil of me because of what I say when I do according to the scriptures. I, I'm not fluffy toeing. I don't wink. I don't wear pink bunny slippers. And if you do it and I do it and if it's sin, it's sin and we need to confess. First Peter 3.12 For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Amen. Glory to God. And his ears are open unto their prayers. 
Amen. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. What if that evil against them, what if it's also those are other children of God, not just the lost people? Evil is as sinners, they are not righteous. The face, the anger, the judgment upon them that do evil, that disobey God and his word, and more so if you are saved a child of God, then a lost man, though he has a Bible, a saved man is supposed to read his Bible. The commandment is study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the word of truth. More judgment upon you. I don't read. It's your fault you don't read. I got a modern Bible. It is your fault you got a perverted Bible. I said modern Bible. I said perverted. Well, my church doesn't. Pre then it's a shame you're not in a right, proper biblical church. There are no prayers answered commonly. And I am not saying God is deaf to all evil men, but plenty of them. And there are Christians out there, oh, God ain't answering my prayer, God ain't. Because you are in sin. And the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The evil here is sin. When, when God said, I bring an evil upon them in Jeremiah 11, and a great evil Daniel spoke about in Daniel 9. That is the consequences of sin by God. First Peter 3, the Holy Spirit says, the consequences of God's face and judgment against you is because the evil, because the sin that you do, and that's that evil coming, it's a sin or it may not be a sin. But evil is definitely a consequence. They are not right, not righteous, but sinners. There are people out there whose name is the Lamb's Book of Life. They're going to heaven. And they live perverted, wicked lives. And they have no due regard to God, to Jesus, to the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God. Never mind church and assembly. Now there, like I said, when people come up to me on the street, oh, I'm a Christian, I don't do that. You know what? I'm the faith and works. If your works don't follow your faith, then uh, I call it question of salvation. But if you are saved, and you come up to me, and, you know, that's not what, uh, you know, that's not what Jesus would do. That's not what I do. I let my light shine. The Bible says go into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, you know, I, and I don't, you know, but, he, uh, well, you know, I uh, uh, got my tongue up, but I got to go. It's, you know, but if you don't go out in the, into all the world and preach the gospel, you're not listening to God. You're in trouble. Like when you were in trouble, when dad told you to bring the garbage out and you did not bring the garbage out. When dad told you to to, uh, to clean your room and you didn't clean the room. When mom told you to sweep the floor or do the dishes and you didn't do it. You're in trouble. That finished our study. 18 points. You need to get all 18. On evil, the judgment of God. Now we pick up knowledge. And we only got two. Knowledge is to know evil. It's very helpful. And yet it can be very dam damaging. To have an idea what is wrong in the eyes of God can build a relationship with God. For preventing of acting in evil. Knowledge can be good thing, and knowledge can be an evil thing. Bomb making, torture, 
and ill natures are the knowledge of evil that's not pleasing to God. If I know what tobacco can do to the body, and what tobacco can do to people who don't smoke, secondhand smoke, and the waste of money, I can learn from those things. I can know people who've had, who had cancer, lung cancer, emphysema. I've got that. COPD. They have no money because they spent their money and they go through the piggy bank to get money to get a, a carton or a pack of tobacco. And by the results of the fruit of tobacco, I can see God is not pleased with it. Well, you know, God, God grew tobacco as a plant. He never told you to smoke it. Jesus turned water into wine, uh, but he never drank it. God made the marijuana plant. It is a beautiful plant. The assembly of the leaves. But he never told you to dry it, roll it, and put it in paper and stick it to your mouth and light it. It's no common sense. And then there could be knowledge of the good thing to know God is, I know how to read, I can know how to read my Bible, and I can know how to use a dictionary to look up words that I don't know what they are, and I can, I can use a concordance to look up references. And I can find a King James Bible believing church and I can have the knowledge of good things to know the knowledge of good. So Genesis 3.22. And we got two things under the subject of knowledge about evil. And there'll probably be more, but we're at 54 pages. We're 25 pages of 54 pages. We're not doing every evil word in the Bible, but I don't know, we I should have. Genesis 3.22, and the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. Talking to the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. To know good. Hey. You know how to use a band-aid? You know how to take macaroni and, and make macaroni and cheese? You know how to put bread in a toaster and, and make toast? You know how to take two pieces of bread and cheese and and, and make gr grilled cheese sandwich. That's good, isn't it? You know how to open up your Bible and start in Genesis 1, and by the end of the year, if not halfway through the end, you come to Revelation 22 and you're ready to do it again? Go for it. That's good. And evil. Adam and Eve became the no. They never knew evil before. We'll look at that in a moment. Never had any idea what evil. They always knew what God and good. God showed up in the in the afternoon. I think was the warm of the day and said, "God came walking in the garden." That is good. You know, here Adam and Eve. You know, hey, Eve. Hey, God's coming. Come on, let's go. Grab those panda bears. Come on, let's let's go have a little time with God. You know, God, these orange fruits you got in these trees, I'll call them orange. You know, they're delicious. Yummy. Thank you. And now, least he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. All right, so what did Adam and Eve learn from Genesis chapter 3 that was evil? They learned about death. Do you know the Bible says Eve? knew that her son was killed by Cain when, when her third son is born, Seth. She says something like, God has given me another son, another man whom Cain has slain. Who on earth came to Eve and told her her son was dead? 
I mean, were there other children by then? Did Adam? Did God? You realize the first death notice, someone come knocking on the door. Yes, we help you. Hi, this is the police department. We got some bad news to tell you. Are you related to this person? Yeah. Tell you they died. We found their body. In the 70s, when I was a little boy playing on the streets of New London, Connecticut, I remember the cops coming up talking to my Kevin, my friend, and I. They're like, you know, we need to talk to uh, the Hayward. I said, hey, I'm a Hayward. I said, my mom's home. She's up there, like second floor. And cops, hey, cops gonna go talk to my mom, Kevin. And I remember my mom calling me, like, uh oh, Kevin's like, you're in trouble. I said, I don't know, that don't sound like I'm in trouble. I said, All right, I'll see you later, Kevin. Mom got me in the car and we're heading over to Groton and the police officer came over to tell us my grandpa Hayward died. They had found his body. I believe that was the first time I've ever seen death. And it, I, I still remember I was a little boy out in the backyard by, by the tree. I was just crying. Grandpa, I never even seen the. I was just crying. My grandpa was dead. He learned about death. That's evil. Death is evil. God never intended death. The wages of sin is death. They learned about sin. Imagine. Here you are in your house. And you open up the bathroom door in your house, and there is your teenage child shooting up a needle into their arm of some drug. Congratulations, you know about evil. You know about sin. Imagine a mother who gives birth to a child in pain and suffering. And that child grows up and just spits in her face, has no regard for her, just rejects her. Hey, welcome to sin. Pain. Did you ever have pain? There was no pain before Genesis 3. Suffering. Curse. There was no curse until Genesis 3. Sorrow. That's something that came with Eve and came with Adam. They both were given sorrow. And the woman was given the sorrow of her children. And Adam was given the sorrow of, of crops. Labor. Now Adam was given the job in the garden. Before the fall. He was a gardener. After the fall, he's got weeds. He's got trouble. He's got problems. He's got pesticides. He's got it. Got to make money now. Sweat. And loss. Etc. The knowledge of sin and its consequences came as early as Genesis 3.22. And how did that come about? God said, do not eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve had all the good. They had no evil. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord. That's lacking today, the fear of the Lord. This fear of coronavirus. There's a fear that, are these group of people going to burn my city now? There's a fear that you offend me. But there's no fear of the Lord. And that's the tactic that, that they've been using with me at the farmer's market. Well, maybe if we get on and put some more teeth in him, maybe he won't come back. No, not with God. I fear God of me not preaching the gospel and not trying to get the gospel out. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil.
We're up to nine categories. We're 25 pages into Hevel. There are 54 pages altogether. Of all the evil that we've looked at so far, in the study of evil, have you hated it? You say, well, Stiley, you know, there's a couple times, man, you, you rubbed against me the wrong way. Did you hate it? Or did you hate me? But you know that evil, that's... I see that in somebody who I love. Do you love them but hate the evil that they're involved in? Oh, that evil, it, it, it's the church I'm in. Do you love your church but hate the evil they're involved in? I hate that, that Christians are turning a blind eye and praising the government of America more than praising God and giving an excuse to America rather than giving America the Bible. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. If you don't hate evil, you don't fear the Lord. Look around you. Pride. Now, we're not talking about pride, but hate, hate pride. Pride is all around. It's in the churches. We got the greatest church. We got the best preacher. We got. Shut up and repent. Arrogancy. And the evil way. And the forward mouth, a wicked, vile mouth, do I hate. God hates things. Not to the liberal. Evil is to know its pride and arrogance, and you are to hate it. There are sins in my life that I do, I don't want to say regularly, but I struggle. And even when I do fall to that temptation, I hate it. Though Hebrew says uh, the pleasures of, uh, for a season, I hate it. I hate when I do wrong against God. What's the evil? I hate when I sin against God. I hate the sins that I do. Evil, it's a pride and it is to be hated. Or there's no fear of the Lord. And there is no fear to Lord. You have no right to call Jesus Christ your Lord. Because you're not serving him as Lord. You're serving evil and sin. I know. This is number 28 series. Lord willing, 29 next week. I've said you got to do all 28. And they're going to kick you in the butt. And they're going to latch on to you. And you're going to want to get mad enough to take something and throw it. And then you're going to want to get down on your knees and say, God, I never realized. Remember the study we did before this one, the full study, where we actually went through every fool, F-O-O-L, in the Bible. Fool, foolish, fools. The only word we didn't do, I'm sorry we didn't do, was folly. You know what I learned from that study of the fool? Many a time, I'm foolish. Many a time, I am the fool. Many a time, my sin is foolish. You know what I'm learning by this study of evil? Though I'm a child of God and I'm saved and glory to God, I'm going to heaven. Ooh, there's that side of me, my evil heart, my wicked. I, there are things I do that do not please God. But is it so great? If we confess our sins. 
he, God, is faithful enough to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, evil. I hope these studies are helping you. Lord willing, we'll pick up misery, pain, and suffering. Lord willing, next week. Share them. Tell your friends. Email them. Whatever you can do with the mode of YouTube and SoundCloud and the internet and put it on a CD, give it to a friend and whatever you can do. I give, There's no copyright. I give you free to go and get the word of God out. You can now get a copy of this Eber report and most of all my reports as I do them. You can get you can get this copy of this evil report and you can print it or you can set, uh, save it as a word document off your computer when you go to our website and the link will be in the description of our website and it's what's it called what is it? I forget what it's called Our, no, what's it? It's called the uh, our download page. You go to our website, our download page, and there's there's links listed, and pretty much Word document and other interesting information, all free of charge, all uncopyrighted. What you do is between you and God. God knows what I did. And if you want to nail me down, it's all black and white. Or if you want to put color in it, 